Determine the ending gantry angle. If the gantry is starting at 290 degrees and is moving 130 degrees in the clockwise motion. So to help visualize answering this question, I like to draw what would be the motion or movement of the gantry. So the gantry has four cardinal angles. Up top is zero degrees, but it can also be referred to as 360 degrees. On the bottom would be 180 degrees. On the right hand side here is 90 degrees. And on the left is 270. So these are what are known as the cardinal angles. There are four cardinal angles. So first we said we're going to start at 290 degrees. So if we start at 180 at the bottom and then we're counting up to 270, we're only going to be counting up again on this side. So say we start about here. This is 290. Now it's not as simple as just saying 290 plus 130 because of this change here. So 360 and zero, it makes it a little bit more challenging. So we have to do a little bit of extra math. So first we will find the distance between 290 and zero or 360 and 290. So we can do 360 and then subtract 290, our starting gantry angle. So we're getting the difference between the two so that we can determine the remaining gantry angle motion. So 360 minus 290 comes to 70 degrees. So that means from the starting point to the top, the gantry rotated 70 degrees, but our total motion is 130. So to, to, to determine the next motion, we would subtract 130, our total gantry motion, minus that motion we already did, which is 70. So 130 minus 70 is equal to 60 degrees. That means from zero, the gantry is going to move another 60 degrees to get to its ending angle. Now after zero, this is pretty simple because we just are adding numbers from this point on. So our ending gantry angle here is going to be 60.